Well, welcome in guys, this is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy and today I'm gonna to do a review for you on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. This is a device I've owned now for 30 days um, and this is certainly not my first iPad. I have owned four iPads over time. The, my first iPad I ever owned was an iPad 2, okay? And uh, that was like a religious experience for me. It was unbelievable to just have such a great screen and a device that was so powerful in your hands. It was just like amazing. Um, after that, then I kind of waited a few years to upgrade. I got the iPad Air 2 like the day it came out an amazing device nothing but good things to say about it then I got the iPad Pro 12.9 inch second generation and to me that device was just simply too big okay and now I have gotten the 10.5 inch about a month ago or so um, and I absolutely love this device okay and so I'm gonna kind of tell you some of the pros and some of the cons which cons there aren't really many cons about this device in my personal opinion being someone that loves iPads like it's pretty easy to impress me. Um, the first thing I will say about this device is I love that I can palm it in my hand. One of the reasons I got rid of the 12.9 inch model was just simply it was so bulky and whatnot it was too much for me. This I can palm in my hand. I feel comfortable holding it like this which is big because like I said the 12.9 inch I felt like I had to carry it all the time. Two hands everywhere I went and uh, you know it just felt like a device that if I drop it on the floor it's pretty much it was like holding a MacBook Air or something like that like my MacBook Air over there that's what it felt like holding it right this device feels so lightweight so thin it's amazing um the specs on it are amazing. How fast this device is, it's just ridiculous. This is a 50, uh, 64 gigabyte model, which is perfectly fine for me. Um, this holds everything I need it to hold. Now, if I'm getting a laptop, I probably want about 256, but for an iPad, for the major high majority, 99% of you guys, like 64 gigabytes is gonna cut it, okay? Unless you're doing some insane things, like some insane video edits and whatnot on your iPad, which most people don't do. They use their laptops or their Macs or, or whatever device for, for high-end editing and whatnot. Not. Unless you're doing that type of stuff on your device, like 64 gigs is plenty. Now, one thing I'll, I'll bring out, if you wanna do high-end video editing and, and photo editing and whatnot, like this device is gonna cut it for you, okay? It is plenty fast, it's got the specs to do it. Um, there are some great products out there that you can use for photo and video editing. Um, I would highly recommend it, all right? Um, it's nice to have a uh, fingerprint, the touch, you know, uh, just kind of logging in, like, um, you know, my, I, like, look at, look at how fast that worked okay it's insane so we'll shut it off again um and look at that boom it's it uh, it's unbelievable how well it works guys i'll even try it with this finger okay uh, that finger doesn't work as good apparently. Oh, it, it eventually worked, okay? So, uh, unbelievable. The camera, I'll say it's it's almost too good. The camera um, on this model for an iPad, it's like how often do you ever even take photos, okay? Maybe you take photos of a document or something like that, but like this is not a, uh, a, like a camera like I'm gonna be like, oh, let me go out and take pictures of it. But if you need to do it, like it's a ridiculously good camera. I think it's the same camera, I believe, that they actually use an iPhone 7, okay? So, so a phenomenal camera, I would say unbelievably good. Four speakers on this iPad, two up here and two in the back produce amazing sound. Like this is a type of device that you don't even need an external speaker, okay? Um, unless you're trying to play super loud music and you actually have a, a home entertainment system, like that's a different ball game. But I'm talking about like if you got, um, you know, a, a jam box or you got like an Apple speaker or, or a Google Home or Amazon Alexa, like this thing can blow away most of those devices. How loud this device gets because of those four speakers. It's unbelievable, guys. It's, it's simply unbelievable. It does have a headphone jack, which is good. Um, you know, something I definitely want in uh, any type of device I have. Like I said, the speed the speed is, is is amazing. Like you can check out the benchmarks they've done the tests. You can see it matched up again against all type of mobile high end devices. Whether we're talking tablets, uh, phones, it's going to beat mo almost everything out there, guys. Unbelievably good uh, device. Now I bought this one on B and H Photo, which I compared it to everybody. B and H Photo had it the cheapest, so I compared it on Walmart, Amazon, eBay, pretty much anywhere across the board for a brand new one, 64 gigs. Uh, B and H Photo beat everybody's. Price out, out there, so that's where I ended up getting it from. Um, I would say the front camera is okay. I would love these cameras to be better, though. Like, like if there's one drawback, I would say you know for FaceTiming, I like we FaceTime with the grandparents and whatnot with the kids. I do wish um, the, the the front camera was a little better. Audio is perfect as far as everybody uh, hearing us and whatnot. And like I said, the camera is insane on this thing. It's so good for being a tablet. It's almost silly. Um, and it even has like a flash. So like literally, if you need to use flash for 
your pictures. Like you could, it even has that, guys. Um, unbelievable device. There's not not really anything else I could say about it. Battery life is very strong on this. Um, I'll, I'll use it for hours, and I'll be like, oh man, this thing must be you know been getting pretty down there. And then I'll look at it, and it's like 65 percent, 70 percent. I'm like, dang, I thought it would be at like 30 percent. Battery life very very strong on this. Um, and other than that, that's about all I have to say, guys. I would I highly recommend it. Like I'll probably use this iPad for at least two years before I upgrade again. Um, and uh, it is just a phenomenal device. It's everything I'm looking for in an iPad in terms of, of everything across the board, whether you're using it for work related stuff, whether you're using it for like entertainment, it's gonna it's gonna cut it for you. So I highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, not really many drawbacks on it. Um, and let me know if you guys if you guys got any questions down there in the comment section I didn't address here in this video today. I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you subscribe. This is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.